Hey guys, what's up? Zone here, and um, before I get started with this whole thing, um, I just wanted to apologize for the video quality. OBS is making these window recordings just really, really shitty, and I apologize. But I'm gonna show you guys how to make or how I make my thumbnails. Um, it's really, really easy. I don't use um, ah, shit. What is it called? I t obviously I don't use it. Um, I don't use the little software called Photoshop. That's it. Photoshop. I don't use Photoshop. And the reason why is because one, I do own it, um, but it's far more complicated than I would like to know. Two, I'm too lazy to sit down and learn it. And three, uh, I, I just don't need to. So what I use is I use PowerPoint. Um, don't get me wrong, yeah, you know what you guys are thinking, you're probably thinking you can make way better thumbnails with some other software, but I like the thumbnails I make and they, they look very nice. Okay, so we're going to open up PowerPoint here and I'm actually going to show you how I'm making my thumbnail for my video that's rendering right there. So you actually don't have to type in the whole thing, but just wait till it pops up and oh my gosh, group chat, get out of it. Um, okay. So I'm going to open up a blank presentation, and first of all, we're just going to delete that. And the reason I like it is it's just simple. Now, um, what I did is I'm making a oh hey there, I'm making a video for the Christmas chaos that happens in the Mindplex server. Now, honestly, what I do is you just go on to search and you look for pictures that you think will look good in your thumbnail. So. I'm going to insert some of these pictures um, that I have, and I'm going to have Mindplex because that was that. And the cool thing about this one is I'll actually show you what, you, what to look for, something that actually is really, really nice. Um, if you open one up, yeah, that's kind of hard to see. This one may have it. And... That one has it. Okay, nope. Which one did I just click on? It was this one. Okay, there we go. See how there's a checkerboard behind it? That means that there's no background on this picture in the image when you save it. So when you open it up in like this, you can see how there's no white box. It's literally on its own. That makes it so much easier to add pictures and other things on your um, thumbnail. So for instance, I'm going to want a picture of, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just say a Christmas tree. Or, uh, yeah. Mm, we'll, just, we'll just type in Christmas tree. Because I'm going to show you guys what to do if it's not like that. Um, so this one looks nice. And it, as you can see, uh, let's get a better quality one. That's a little bit better. Nope, can't use it because it has the thing that I was telling you about. That one's still kind of shitty. 1200 by 500. Mm. Okay, I want one that's good quality, but that has a background. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just choose the first one. There we go. That works. It's a real tree, but you know, do whatever you want to do. Alright, so we're just going to save this to your pictures, wherever you would like to save your pictures. Just make sure that you know how to get back into them. And I'm just going to go to Insert Pictures, and let's go find that picture, and it was the Christmas tree right here. So as you can see when we add it, it has this terrible, terrible, um, let's make this full screen. It has this uh, white box, and if you wanted to put that on your thumbnail, you'd have to like really, really work around it. One thing you could do is just sending this to the front, and now you have that, but if you want to add text or anything, you're going to have to, you're, it's going to get in the way, trying to add out the white box. So we're actually going to send this to the back. And uh, we're going to go over here to um, Format, and you're going to click Remove Background. Now this is a really handy tool that I have found recently, and I love it. So you're going to slide this so that the whole picture is opened up. And just kind of customize it the way you want. I'm going to want every little limb. Okie dokie, looking very nice, and you're going to keep changes. Now as you guys can see, no stupid white background. Um, 
not sure if I really need this yet, but uh, you know we can maybe throw it in there. Um, I like a very clean background. Um, as you guys can maybe see, most of my stuff is in um, most of my thumbnails. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Most of my thumbnails are white in the background, and I don't know. It just kind of pops out better on the YouTube page. I'm um, not like I'm trying to like pop out or anything, but it's it's just a cleaner, more simplistic look, and I'm all about that. You know what I'm saying? So this one's called Christmas. This was called Christmas Chaos. I know this is a really really low quality one, but when it's in a thumbnail, you really can't even tell a low quality picture. And as you guys can see, we're gonna use the. Um, we move background again. Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Alright, so as you guys can see, maybe just by testing it, it'll fix it, but no, obviously not. So what you're going to do is you're going to click Mark Areas to Keep. Now you can just go ahead and click... Oh, that's going to... What you doing? Um, you can drag, and that seems to help a little bit better. It's time... Uh... Nope. Undo. Um, I can't see. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit on that. Eh, that's all right. We're gonna actually, if you click the white, will that work? Nope. So it's kind of a way to go through the um thing. It's it's tedious. Now, since I'm, I actually thought about it, since this is what we kind of only need right here, if we just drag through it, it'll just highlight that. And having a little bit of white right there is okay, because what's going to happen is it's just going to be the text. Uh, and all we need is these corners to be gone. So that is a way to avoid that. This, is, this works pretty well if it's a white background and you're making a white um, thumbnail. Now that we have this going on, we can make it look all pretty by setting it in here. And as you guys can see, you can tell now that it, uh, it's got the part, but over here, you really can't even tell. And um, in this video that is rendering right now, we made it pretty quickly to the end. If you ever played Christmas Chaos, we made it about 10 to 12 minutes. So that was really, really quickly. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I suggest to go try it. It's really, really fun. It gets pretty intense at the end there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna add some text. Um, I kind of, I really, honestly like the simple text. Um, you can do the. Um, I don't know how to do it. I'm pretty sure it is. Like you can do the fancy words. I'm just gonna use this. Um, oh no, because that's what I like. And I'm just gonna say. Um, real quick uh yeah I guess that'll be all and the cool thing about this is you can always go back and change the color uh, just by clicking and highlighting oh I keep sure I think it's on it okay so you can go back and you can change the theme I'm gonna make it a green because that was what it was kind of like and right here, the max is only 96, but secret secrets. You can change this to whatever size you want. So if I want 113, it's a pretty good size. We can keep it like that. And I don't know, this is kind of going to be my thumbnail style. Um, make it yours too. If, if anything, you can always change the color of the background and whatnot. But keep in mind that in this corner over here is where the um, if like you guys know when you're scrolling through your YouTube videos, there's the time right through here. So I've put like part one in the corner and then it's just completely covered up by the time. So keep things in the middle or the left. Um, if you've already watched it, the watched will be kind of in this area. So I don't know, keep it, uh, keep it in the center preferably so that all of your hard work is, is seen. And uh, last but not least, we're just going to go for the save. Um, this looks pretty good. I'm actually going to put a part one here because this will not be the first time I'm going to do one like that. Dang it. Alright. So we're just going to say Pete 1. Oops, that was exclamation point. Alright. And we're just going to
just gonna make that probably 80 ish yep looks good and we're gonna put that right here and there's two things you should do when you go for the save you're gonna save it as um, I'm gonna save it to a folder that has all my thumbnails so it's on my desktop this is my thumbnail folder and you're gonna save it as, to, as PowerPoint presentation if you're gonna make a series of that with different parts so you can come back and edit that part one so I'm just gonna say um, Xmas um, Chaos right I'm gonna save that okay cool then you're gonna go back save as and you're gonna go to the thumbnail you're gonna save it as a JPEG now because that's the only way you can actually make it a YouTube um, thumbnail is if you save it as a JPEG so now that we have that going you can click all slides with just this one it really doesn't matter because it's only one slide so they both do the same thing and there you guys go we have our thumbnail